Hello everyone, let's take a look at this liquid problem. This liquid problem is the largest problem in the biweekly context. It's a hard problem. So it's a hard problem. Uh, the similar question has been appeared several times in the code. So let's take a look at how to solve this kind of problems. And this is description. If you haven't read the problem, you can take some time to read it. So we know for this problem, some people try to use greedy solution, but they got wrong answer. For this problem, we cannot use greedy solution since like we use greedy. So sometimes people find the pairs that makes the biggest GCD, then use the largest i to multiply that. But if, if we pick the pair that makes the biggest GCD, then since we choose these two nums, it may make other pairs smaller. So we cannot use greater solution here. We need to try to search every possible combinations. So greater does not work. We need to try every possible combinations. We may need to use backtracking. Since we need to use backtracking, so we need to have a data structure to record the use nums. So we can use set here, but using set too much, like in C++, if you pass by copy, then when there are tons of copy, it's slow. If you pass by reference, you also need to maintain this set. So it's super slow. We know that n is at most 14. So we know that for 32 uh, bits integer, there are 32 bits, but we only have 14 num numbers here. So we can use 14 bits in an integer to record if, uh, if an index is used or not. For example, we have array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we pick 1 and 6, then state becomes one zero 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 one. Uh, it's in binary rep representation. So the last index and uh, this uh, the fifth index is set to one, which records that index zero and index five is already used. Okay, let's take a look at the implementation. Here is my typical framework to solve this kind of problem. So I have the DFS function, which takes three parameters for now. One is nums, one is the round, which is the i. We need to multiply i with our GCD. And this is state, which is also can be understand as used. At first, uh, all num numbers are available, so state is initialized to zero. So this is a corner case. When round is greater than num dot size divided by two, we just return zero, since we already used all the numbers. Okay, and then we have answer. And finally, I just return this answer. Okay, since in each round, we need to pick two numbers. So I have a double for loop here, just for loop each possible, every possible pair. Then for a specific pair, we need to check if it's already picked, right? So if my previous state and my picked number is zero, which means it's not used. Um, if, if it's not zero, which means there, um, there must at least a position that both of them are set set bit to one, which means that number is already used in state and I will try to pick it again. So it will not be zero, I just skip it. If it's zero, it means the two numbers I picked are not used, so I can use it. So I just try to update my answer to be the maximum of current answer and the round multiplied to CD, then plus my DFS function. So I pass from plus one, then this is my new state. Since I use these two numbers I just picked. Okay, it, it works, but uh, it cannot pass some uh, test cases. You know, uh, like, Take this example, numbers is from one to six. If we pick one, two, then in round two, we pick three, two. This is our state. If we pick three, two, then pick one, two. This is our state. The same, right? So there are many redundant calculation. If, if we pick one, two, then pick three, two, we have this state, we get the result. Then we just store it in our map. Next time we pick three, two, we pick one, two, then we find and we have already calculated it before, then we just pick that result, it will be much faster. So we need a cache. 
I pass this cache to my function. And before returning my answer, I just update my cache, set this answer for my state. Next time I find, oh, I have visited this state before I have calculated it. It's a result is already in my cache. I can just return it. I don't need to calculate again and again. So that's the final answer. Yes, thanks. See you next time.